Hey guys, and welcome to Dayglue, and today I'm just gonna get right into it. You're going to need a cauldron, you're going to need a furnace, and you're going to need a blacksmith, alright, so that you can make these new fire orbs. Alright, you're gonna need to make a vial for it, and you're going to be needing ichor, and the vial filled with water, in order to make the actual ones themselves. And it's gonna be like, oh shit. Now here's the thing, fire orbs you have to get from exploding imps, alright. The next one is water orbs, which you just fill up with water and you have ichor. Next one is going to be the gas one, and I don't know where shrooms are going to be, but it's one of the things that we still need to figure out. The other one is tar, so that you can make grease fires. That requires five of them and one orb. Alright, now that we know all the recipes and you actually have them producing in every single way, shape, and form, you gotta make sure that you have enough crystal, you have enough of everything else to actually get all of this done. Now, with saying that, they've reworked the new the cauldrons. You actually have to have a alchemist thrall either one, two, or three. They're working on number four, but that one's currently bugged. Alright, so when you have enough iron reinforcements and everything else so that you can make a shitload of cauldrons, you'll be able to have everything that you need. Now, with that, and with saying all that, raiding staff entrances is going to be game changing. These fire orbs will not do any splash damage except for what you are throwing onto it. If you have a grease fire, which means you use tar, and you use actual fire orbs, then that would be a grease fire. If you just use a regular fire, it only hits that one proximity. And for every yield for it, the explosive imps that you have is going to give you one per, no matter what tool, no matter what steel weapon, no matter what. So currently all you get is one. It requires five actual exploding imps to get one yield for one firebomb. So raiding with tar and the fire orb is going to be ideal for structures that are on the ground. If you're going to be raiding a staff entrance, you're going to need just straight up fire orbs because if you do anything else, you'll be completely boned when it comes to this kind of raiding style that's going to be implemented into the game because this is game changing. Level 10 and you can pretty much raid anybody whatsoever. Now the hold back, you have to actually hold the grenade back, just like you're holding a power charge with the actual hammer. And then you throw for an impact. If you want to have it light and bounce, you just click it. Now this right here is a grease fire, for what everybody can actually see. And this is going to be your most efficient eco raid possible for what you need exactly. And you can restart all the oil fires, which makes it completely and utterly dangerous for you being a solo player and for you actually being a low level. So now you can get up those staff entrances and raid people no matter what. In every cer certain circumstance that you'll just completely bone people in every single way whatsoever. So now you can be able to put them out in other ways. But if you use a gas grenade, it makes an explosion, which is awesome. So now this is the gas. You can't light it at all with fire arrows. I would think that they would fix this, but they have different mechanics for it. And you can't do it either with the tar, and you can't do it even with the fire ones. So again, I would highly recommend that you get just a fire orb in order to light this, because if you don't have it, you're boned. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be fucking up these orbs. And here's the water orbs. The water orbs put out... Uh, the gas, they put out the fire, they do everything. So water orbs are pretty much the bare essential, and they go from there. It goes from gas to tar. So now we are going to be testing the actual tier 2 door. This also is a tier 3 door. This is with a grease fire. Now you gotta remember, this with the grease fire does splash damage to the floor that you're also trying to raid. So, if you are doing this method, they better be on the same level or they have the same tier right behind it because otherwise it will destroy the foundation underneath it if you're raiding one of these doors. But it will not do that for the instance of fire orbs. So while I'm continually doing this, this is probably going to cost me as much tar as for with explosives. But here's the thing, it makes me for a vial for crystal and 
five. Five for the fire. That's for five imps that are killed. Probably the cheapest thing to raid anybody for one door to two door airlocks. So this is going to be a crucial thing. Now, this is going to be showing for staff entrances that everybody's been working on, including my own, which are going to be completely gone. About 12 to 15 fire orbs are going to be needed so that you can be able to go up, <coughs> excuse me, the staff entrance, and it will not destroy the foundation at all. It's completely full health. So if you guys like this content and this how-to, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And have a good one, everybody.